Hey everyone, it's Sammy and it's time for January Favourites. Now, it's already dark outside, it's a little bit later than I normally shoot, so I've got some artificial light, uh, so I hope it works out. I was on a Skype lesson to America, so uh, everything else kind of went a little bit later as well, but I had a fabulous lesson. Uh, hi Sarah! And uh, yeah, I've got lots of January Favourites. Well, actually not that much. It's more skincare. It's more about taking care of yourself, I realised, and only three makeup items nothing new for the eyes which is shocking i'm still in love with the gwen stefani palette anyways and not didn't fall in love with the new mascara the eye of horus didn't fall in love with that hmm. so i'm going to start with two oh, favorites they are two suku products and they're both suku skincare now the first one is oh look at this packaging it's so heavy as well it is their moisture barrier rich cream now i thought i would use this at night i'll show you it has a cute little thing that you use to kind of like dig the cream out because I wanted something to soothe my winter skin um, at night and I thought it would be way too rich during the day. Not so. It is rich but it's amazing. It's amazingly comfortable. It's beautiful. It is probably really expensive. I got it as a Christmas present so I'm not sure and I don't want to look up the price so don't tell me because I will feel guilty. Um, and the other thing um, I got and love so much is Suku Eye Cream. This is the dual eye balm and you use the yellow one on the top part of the lids and the white one under your eyes and they have different properties. And that again comes with two little Hey, things. Now I am still using the Pericone Serum under that because I am so in love with it. I'm not going to give it up for anything, not even Suku, but this is obviously more of an eye cream than a serum. So they are luxury, amazing products, but I am so in love with them and I'm constantly worried that they're going to run out and what am I going to replace them with? Now this seems to be a month of like little twinsies. I've got two other sets like of two. Next one is by Ruby Red and this is their soothing and nourishing line and it is body moisturizer and body cleanser. These smell insanely good. Now they have Jasmine Vitamin B5 and Bavasu Oil. I bought the travel sizes. Oh my God, it smells so good. I have to, I have to. It's mostly Jasmine and Milan Milan that you're smelling. They are, like both products are incredibly, incredibly good. And I'm buying the full sizes as soon as I run out of these little sizes. But the scent is to die for. I am so crazy about it. I have loved Ylang Ylang since I was 13, I think. And uh, so if you don't love that or Jasmine, I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> go near them. But they are, it's very, it's floral but musky at the same time and herbal and just glorious. I love both of these really good products as well for moisturizing winter skin. And then the last of the twinsies is by Lumine or Lumine um, and it is well, obviously from Finland so I love it and it is the sensitive touch range and this is the extra extra gentle cleanser and uh, the extra gentle toner and these are all fragrance free um, and they are for all skin types. Now I have sensitive skin but because I have combination skin I often find that these sensitive ranges are too moisturizing for me and also that sensitive um, cleansers don't take off my makeup. This takes off my eye makeup, takes off everything, leaves my skin comfortable but not with that kind of film that you often get with kind of very creamy um, cleansers and this I am in like absolutely this is the most comfortable toner that i have used um uh, they are both obviously unscented for sensitive skin for my face i don't like scents i like scents for my body for my face i try and stay away from them they are amazing products um in finland they're both i think under a tenner um i think in america you can buy me in ulta i think uh, correct me if i'm wrong or put or tell me in the comments below what um where you can buy it but i feel like it's ulta and they are great products and obviously i love them because they're from finland uh one more this is a shower product now this was a stocking present and i am buying the big size this is the aromatherapy associates revive morning bath and shower oil i use literally a capful so that much, the tiniest amount as a shower oil. So what I do is I 
put it on my skin before going to the shower and then the hot water and that together just makes it into such an aromatherapy sensory experience. It's not really, it doesn't cleanse, it awakes, awakens your mind is what I would say. I never use it as a bath oil, I'm sure it's great as a bath oil. When I get the big side, I will be using it as a bath oil, but this is obviously dinky, so I wasn't using it as a bath oil at all. Now, I did finish my Kerastase, so I was allowed to get the Caviar CC Cream. Um, can I just say that this has revolutionized my hair? It is, I want to probably make a video of the um, Caviar line, by itself, but this does 10 different things. Moisturize, shine, smooth, soft, UV protection, manageability, strength, anti-breakage, heat protection, light hold. Um, yeah, does all of that. But my hair is now so, so soft that it's actually kind of slippery. So when you put a hairband in, you really have to kind of put it in tight. <laughs> I have to use hairspray, I never had to use hairspray before, but it really does make your hair, hair feel amazing. My only problem is the size of this. There is, what does it say, 2.5 ounces, 75 milliliters. That's not very much, and that means I'm gonna go through this really quick. I use uh, four or five pumps for my hair. So, and it's expensive, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like, oh my God, it's gonna, I've only been using it now Two weeks and I'm worried it's gonna run out. Um, anyways, love it. I can see what the fuss is all about. Only three makeup products. Uh, first one is Kat Von D's Lock It Tattoo Concealer. I have recently, I, I've had this for a while. I love it, love it, love it, love it. For my, I use it with the 224 for my pimples. Um, I don't have that many right now. I'm like crediting um, the Lumine and the Suku for that because I guess uh, the moisture balance of my skin is right so it doesn't it's not over dried it's not oily it's not anything but I cover uh, little things with this and it stays put forever I don't know if it's ever gonna not, like replace Laura Mercier's secret camouflage for me but I do love it my shade is where does it say the shade uh, there we go medium 2-2 um, two other ones. Now this, I'm, I'm sure I used this in a tutorial, I mentioned it, Mono & Co, uh, Creme Rouge, Just Peachy. Oh my god, I'm in love with this blush. This is for pale winter skin. This gives the perfect, perfect, like apples, like your cheeks become apples. <laughs> Not that you necessarily want your cheeks to be apples, but still. This is such a cool, cool shade. I'm sure it would work for, uh, slightly darker women as well. Uh, I am at my very palest right now, but I am loving this. Unfortunately, today I'm not wearing it. I'm wearing New Exposure by Hourglass. And last but not least, uh, it's a Bobbi Brown lip product, and it is the Sandwash Pink Lip Color in 22. I'm wearing it today. I use this so much on clients, and I never really picked it up for myself. I don't know why. I love it. It's the perfect kind of neutral pink, it's just perfect neutral. It's a little a little bit pinky but not too pinky, a little bit mauvey but not too mauvey. A little bit of everything and it's just like perfect. So yeah, I don't know why I hadn't been using it on myself. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. The bronzer clear out is gonna come out next week because I had to do my quick January favorites as we're already in February. So let me know your January favorites and I will see you again next week. Thanks for watching, bye.